Hey guys, I'm Dustin Rivers. I'm one of the PGY3 residents here. Uh, today we're just going to give you a tour of the hospital, a few of our focus points um, and where we spend most of our time. And we're going to start here um, in our clinic uh, here at the neurology department. So come on back. So this is typically where uh, all of our clinics are, at least our personal continuity clinics, as well as some of our faculty. Um, and this is where our, our resident offices are. So as you see, neurology residents here on the sign, and we come on in. Uh, we have six desks uh, currently right now. We're gonna have seven for the next year resident. So uh, PGY2s, PGY3s, of course, you get to choose as you go up which desk you want. Uh, here is my desk, uh, which I think is the best desk in the office. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can get an idea of kind of uh, what our desks look like uh, and this is where we spend a lot of our time, especially whenever we're not on service or something like that. Alright guys, so uh, this is uh, Fort North. This is our neurology floor where a lot of our uh, neurology patients, more specifically the stroke patients because our nurses here are NIH stroke scale certified uh, compared to all the rest of the floors. So you'll see a majority of our stroke patients and some of the general patients here. I'm going to show you one of our team rooms. Uh, we have general and stroke on the same floor, so I'll go ahead and show you this. Okay guys, so I'll uh, show you our general neurology team room. Uh, they look quite similar to the stroke, uh, just on different sides of the uh, floor here. So as you see, uh, it's like a general uh, typical room. We have our, our computers, uh, quite enough Typically for our teams, uh, typically three to four people on each team. Uh, we do have a large monitor uh, for reviewing imaging, uh, going through different PowerPoints, presentations, and things like that, uh, going through exam videos and so forth that we do use quite often. Uh, we also have our whiteboard, obviously, that you can see. We use basically every day, going through things like your axis, differentials, and so forth. Um, it gets used quite often. Uh, we'll come in here in the mornings, typically around with our attendings, uh, and uh, then the residents are pretty much here throughout the day um, whenever you're on your general hospital service here. So that's basically it for the general team room. Okay, and on the other side of the uh, same floor here in Fort North, this is our stroke team room. It's quite similar to the other side. Uh, as you see here, the same amount of computers. Um, med students here, uh, they're rotating with us on our stroke service right now. Typically we have med students and off-service residents. Uh, same as the other side, we do have a screen for reviewing imaging, MRIs, uh, CTs, and all those good things here on the stroke team. Otherwise, pretty much the same. And we'll go down to the ICU now. Okay guys, so this is our um, ICU, but more specifically our neuro ICU. Um, we do have a neuro ICU. Uh, a MICU, a SICU, uh, and a CBICU as well, all in the same one, so we'll come here. Um, these are all of our neuro ICU beds, uh, so nursing and staffing is all a little different here on the side. Um, we have about uh, 20 beds or so, but really you can be anywhere within the MICU or SICU for that point. Uh, as you see the nurse in here, it's our Okay, so here in our ICU, uh, basically uh, you have a lot of stroke patients, so a lot of our subarachs, uh, subdural of the course, IPHs, um, any of our post-TPA patients will all come here. Uh, any of, we have a lot of, of course, uh, status epilepticus and things like that, so they'll be more dispersed throughout, but mainly in our ICU are our stroke patients that are critical for uh, whatever pathology they have going on. Uh, we do get a lot of patients here. Uh, because we are the main referral center for a majority of the hospitals around us. Okay guys, so this is our uh, ED here um, at Scott and Wright. So uh, pretty big, pretty large ED, uh, quite busy. Uh, we do have our CT scanners here, so we spend a lot of our time when we're on stroke, uh, responding to stroke alerts, um, getting people in. Uh, we do have uh, uh, endovascular uh, and any other rare comprehensive stroke centers we have every availability that you could think of as far as the stroke side of things um, and we do come down quite often for our stroke alerts here uh, and we are pretty busy uh, a lot of our rooms uh, as you can see back here are pretty much the same uh, throughout as most CDs like I said quite large um, and 
basically uh, what you would have in most of DVDs. We have uh, trauma rooms and then uh, the most and then the non-trauma side. Uh, we are a trauma center as well, so uh, like I said, uh, it can get busy at times. Um, and you do spend some time here uh, during your first year, and you spend a lot of time whenever you're on the stroke team uh, coming down. And then for any consults you get in the ED as well. And here again on Fort North, uh, you can see uh, we have a beautiful view of the city, uh, Temple, Texas here. Um, I do spend some time here, especially whenever we're busy on services, to take a little bit of a break uh, and look here at our beautiful city uh, and uh, just kind of relax and take my mind off of things for a bit. Uh, it is beautiful, a bit busy. We have a lot of good restaurants right across the street, as you can see. Uh, just a nice place to come in. Take your mind off of things for a bit. All right, guys, and this is our uh, EMG, EEG, uh, nerve conduction study lab. Uh, we do our outpatient studies uh, here as, as well as our inpatient studies, uh, specifically for our routine uh, EEGs. So this is our uh, EEG room. Uh, no machine in right now, but typically there's a machine for uh, our inpatient and outpatient routine video EEGs. Uh, we have two uh, separate uh, EMG uh, and nerve conduction rooms. You do spend, uh, well, I think, one month uh, each year uh, doing EMGs uh, with our neuromuscular specialist. So you'll spend quite a bit of time in here uh, and get to do a lot of good, th good things um, and get a lot of good experience. So it's a pretty good rotation for both of those. And this is our uh, outpatient clinic, uh, our uh, neurology floor, uh, in the, separate from our offices, uh, which are on the other side. Uh, we have a lot of our subspecialists here. So uh, in the first hallway, we have stroke, um, our headache specialist, uh, mostly uh, where they do Botox and all these things. Also, we have procedure rooms here um, and our infusion lab as well. Uh, and then here on the other side, uh, we have a few more. Dr. Wilkinson, who is one of our general neurologists. Uh, and we also have uh, our movement clinic is here, Dr. Shawakpe. Uh, our epilepsy clinic is here. Um, and a few of our other uh, general neurologists, like Dr. Wilkinson and Paul as well. Okay, guys, that uh, pretty much wraps up our virtual tour. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you guys uh, on your interview days.